guys, I pop pro here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to build a $500 PC that has an RX 480 and 16GB of RAM. So the first part of the PC will be the Core i3-7100. It's the new KV Lake chip which you can buy on Newegg for $119. Although it's two cores, you can hyper-thread up to four cores. If you ever want to upgrade something in your computer, make sure to upgrade the CPU first. Although it can hyper-thread up to four cores, it is not the best CPU, and I would suggest upgrading to an i5 or an i7. The next part of this PC is the motherboard. It costs $40 on Newegg, but using a mail-in rebate, you can knock it down to $30. The motherboard comes with USB 3.1 and even an M.2 slot. The only bad thing is that it's not a Z170 or a Z270 chipset, but I don't think you should be overclocking an i3-7100. While searching for an RX 460, I found an RX 480 for $160. This makes for a great GPU as it rivals the GTX 1060 and it can handle dual monitors. What's even better is that this GPU has dual fans and is overclockable. I was originally planning on getting an 8GB module on Newegg, but once I kept searching on Newegg, I found a $65 RAM kit that was 16GB using a mail and rebate on Newegg. This is made by Adata as well as for heat spreaders to cool it down. In this PC, we will be including an SSD from Adata that's 120GB. This costs $45 on Newegg. This is where you're going to be storing your OS system, as well as apps that you use frequently. There's also going to be a hard drive in this computer. This is for keeping the rest of your files, and I found it on eBay for $36. For the power supply, I'll be using a 700 watt Thermaltake power supply. I was originally searching for a 500 watt power supply, but then I realized using a $15 rebate, you can get a $40 thermal take power supply. It's a very quiet one, as well as it's more than this PC will ever need. The final component of this computer is a $17 case that I found on Newegg. It's called the Zion case and has one blue LED fan. This case also comes with one USB 2.0 port, a USB 3.0 port as well as an audio in and an audio out port. In the end, you're left with a $512 PC that can run some games at 1440p at 60fps. And don't worry, almost any game will be able to run at 1080p at 60fps. And if you have $35 to spare, you might as well buy yourself a Hyper 212 Evo from Cooler Master. This is much quieter than the stock CPU cooler. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and watch another one of my videos, and I'll see you guys later.